Hi, I'm Faz Shakir, Editor-in-Chief of ThinkProgress.org. Uh, we had a story that caused a lot of commotion this week. It was about Juan Williams. Um, uh, a few days ago we posted a clip from the O'Reilly Factor uh, in which Juan Williams now famously says that he gets nervous when he sees Muslims on airplanes. When we posted the clip we didn't actually anticipate that it was going to cause quite the uh, eruption that it did. I mean, we often post uh, news items of people saying ridiculous and crazy things on Fox News, and oftentimes um, there's no action taken by any party. But in this case, NPR decided to take action, and they um, fired Juan Williams, and of course uh, that was well within their rights to do so. But I think the ensuing fallout um, demonstrated a few different things. One is the mainstream media's disdain for blogs. It's kind of an ever-present thing. Um, and it was distressing to me to watch some of the leading figures on um, in the TV news media, particularly Morning Joe's cast of characters on MSNBC, saying that, well, um, Think Progress maliciously um, took Juan Williams out of context and pulled a Andrew Breitbart, basically. And I think that that's worth responding to because Andrew Breitbart um, took a comment by Shirley Sherrod and presented that quote in exactly the opposite context in which Shirley Sherrod had meant that comment. So he took it and turned it into a complete 180, um, trying to suggest she was a racist when in fact she was saying that I've learned from this behavior and I'm not a racist and I don't act with racist intent. Um, and in this case, in Juan Williams's case, what we did is pulled uh, a clip of something that he, Juan Williams, admits um, that is that th that's his true feelings. That he does get nervous around Muslims. And we uh, heard Juan Williams go back the next day after he got fired and say that that's actually what he did believe. He told NPR that that's what he believed. So there was no malicious distorting of Juan Williams's comments. I think um, it's clear that you know he he's not somebody who um, um, always agrees with Bill O'Reilly and trying to paint all Muslims with a broad brush and say that all Muslims are terrorists, but it was important in our view to highlight somebody who deems himself to be a liberal, Juan Williams, saying that um, he's scared of Muslims because that's of course the kind of comment that hopefully we are trying to rectify and not have our society governed by those kinds of illogical fears. So I think that the media just should have done a fairer job of giving um, giving us an opportunity to uh, debate, I think, what Juan Williams said, because I think his illogical and guttural response to uh, crazy Muslims um, or scary Muslims who wear uh, first and foremost uh, Muslim garb uh, is something that needs to be discussed openly and for that reason I was a little ashamed that um, that uh, that his firing didn't create a, uh, a space for a debate about um, whether uh, whether it's appropriate or inappropriate instead I think most of the media decided to launch into uh, full-throated defense of uh, free speech rights. And uh, that's, of course, not the issue here. Juan Williams has the right to say whatever he wants to say, and NPR has the right to fire him if, because they don't believe that it accurately represents their organization. So the free speech right was all just a sideshow. I think it would have been much more valuable to have a discussion about why uh, Juan Williams' illogical fears, um, where they stem from, why they need to be corrected, uh, what we can do as a society to correct them. Um, it's uh, I think that there, in my view, there's a lot of right-wing figures, uh, pr predominantly on Fox News, who are trying to castigate an entire uh, Muslim population um, by highlighting the acts of few to uh, to attribute to the many. And in a world of billions of Muslims, I think. It's just not a sustainable path to keep um, flinching or, or being afraid of, of Muslims and Muslim garb. Um, so I think it was a wasted opportunity, and unfortunately the only 
fallout from it was that, well, we learned that blogs on the left and right are crazy and they do terrible things. And I, um, I just hope that uh, we can have a better media discourse at some point, and here's hoping to that.